not superhuman. I'm not superhuman. Someone save me from the haze. It's just another war. <clears throat> Stop 15 on the Cashel GTX Cup Series brings us to Riverside Raceway. It's the running of the Traxxas 400K. The first, the first of three road course races on this season 15 of the Castrol GTX Cup Series for the NSCRA. So, with that said, let's get the starting line for the starting line for this on the, for this nine lap race on this historic 2.62 mile road course. And this is the longest road course we have on the circuit. Actually, the sec here, second longest course is Watkins Glen. Actually, second longest actually is going to be Sonoma. We're going to do the long version of Sonoma this year, this season, and then we'll do. And then of course Watkins Glen is next, and I'm just debating on what, whether or not to do the boot version or not, but we'll see what happens here. But Riverside is first, and let's get the starting lineup for, line for today's event. On the pole is at 132 miles an hour is Joshua Collard, the number 43 STP Pontiac, the winner at California this season. Alongside of him in the Melly Yellow Pontiac car number 42, it's Kyle Matthews alongside. Row two has Jessica Shelton. She's won here at Riverside before. Back to where she got her first Cashel GTX Cup Series victory, as a matter of fact. Back in season number nine, the number nine Dodge Dealers Dodge. And she won at Martinsville this season. Charles Sanford's alongside the DuPont Chevrolet car number 24, second, the last race on the tour at Dover. Row two, or row three has Dylan Poteet, the number 32, the number 22 Caterpillar Dodge. He comes in 38th in the points. It's a good qualifying run for him this season. Beside him, Dalton Day, the number 20, Home Depot Pontiac. Row number, five, row number four, I believe, is Seth Cole, the number 13, Geico Chevrolet for NNSCRA Motorsports. Beside him, and then the number 32, Tide Pontiac for PPI Motorsports. It's Kev Shearer alongside, right, in the, in the eighth position. Row number five has Joshua Osborne, the number, the other, number, the other Tide Chevrolet. Tied car, this is the Tied Ford, car number 10, driven by, owned by Red Performance Motorsports. Beside him is Trent Dunham, the number one Fast Pro Shop Chevrolet. Then it's Johnny Gardner, the number 28 Texaco Haviland Ford, has the inside of the next row. And Levi McIntyre for Thrash Maniac Rock and Wrestling Racing. And the Exide Barriers SKF Ford, car 99. Then it's Zach Rogers, the number 13, the number three GM Goodrich Chevrolet, who won the last race on the tour at Dover. Beside him, the number four Kodak Film Chevrolet. It's Chris Dodd. He's alongside. <clears throat> row number, the next row down has Ryan Madden, the number 71 Prodigy Chevrolet, and William Bedford, the, an Aqua Fresh Pontiac car double zero. And here comes the command to fire the engines here at Riverside. Drivers, start your engines. And get the fire the engines. We can start racing here today. Next door down has Corey Williams in the 31 Low Chevrolet and the number 88 Ford Quality Care Service Ford Credit Ford Taurus of of Michael Turner. He's alongside. Riverside is a uh, Riverside in real life is actually no more. This tra track is actually a land er, actually it was overrun by land development area, but through the magic of NR2003, tracks like Riverside can exist and. And we can do races on here, and 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 we are set for some racing here on this on this historic 2.62 mile road course. Joshua Collard and Kyle Matthews will lead them down for nine laps of action as the green flag waves, and we're racing at Riverside. Collard is, I think, has I think Collard is, I believe, is the defending champion of this race here from last season, as he jumps out to a very already a jumped up to a very substantial lead over Kyle Matthews in the Melly Yellow Pontiac. Charles Sanford taking third. Fourth position now is Dalton, is, or excuse me, Dylan Poteet with Dalton Day running in the fifth position. As they head down through the uphill area, this is kind of like a roller coaster part of the course. They come out in this long show and watch those cars accelerate. How fast can they go? Let's see, going out there into turn number nine, 189 miles an hour, 190, 191 miles an hour into turn number nine for Joshua Collard. <coughs> 
Howard always a strong runner on these road courses, and he is very and he is very much one of the few road ringers we have in in the Castle GTX Cup Series. And the guy and the one who's usually right behind him in second position actually has dropped back to about the ninth spot. That's Jessica Shelton. And then she dropped back a little on the start. Now trying to pick her way through the field though, as she as she is behind the 32 of Keb Shearer, who runs in who runs in eighth. At the moment, Shear has had some good runs. His second best finish was a second at Darlington. Seth Cole, very good on the road courses himself, too, in this series as well. The 13 Geico Chevrolet, sporting his favorite driver, Casey Mears. Battle for fourth going on here, but or third going on between Charles Sanford and Dylan Poteet. And we see 195 miles an hour out of Charles Sanford going into turn number nine. That straightaway is very, very long as well, as a matter of fact here. Uh, the straightaway connecting turn eight and turn nine. And Poteet gets a run up, try to get a run on the outside of the track, but couldn't quite make it work. And now Sam, and he falls back in behind Sanford. But Poteet, boy, he about power, he about touched Charles Sanford. As we had a look at the 42 of Kyle Matthews running in second position. Several of these, several of these road ringers are up there in the points chase here. Kyle Matthews running right now seventh in the points chase. Charles Sanford up to fifth in the points. In the DuPont Chevrolet. Dylan Poteet running fourth at the moment. He is currently, as I said, 38th in the standings. He needs a big pick me up in the points chase. And we saw Jessica Shelton get by Kev Shear to move her way into the seventh position. And now goes underneath Seth Cole and what power that number nine car's got here. Already picked up two spots, or possibly on the cusp of picking up two spots in one lap though, but Seth Cole has that low line working at his advantage. And Shelton falls back in behind Seth as they go down through the, into the turn number one for the another time. Capshire runs in ninth position. Trent Dunham running in tenth. Or running in ninth position, I should say. Uh, is ninth position, I should say. Shears eighth. Levi McIntyre running in tenth at the moment in the X-Side battery, Batteries Ford. Zach Rogers in eleventh. Joshua Osborne running twelfth at the moment in the number ten tied Ford. Winner this season at North Wilkesboro. Ryan Madden, 13th. William Bedford, 14th. There's 15th. Corey Williams. Jeremy Jones, the winner at Atlanta at the Las Vegas this season, runs in 16th. Michael Turner, 17th. 18th. Chris Dodd, 19th. Matt Dalio, 20th. Levi Shones. Dylan Young, often considered a good road ringer himself, though he is back in 22nd position in the Miller Genuine Draft Ford. And trying to pick his way back up through the field. Austin LaPlante running in 21st position. Austin LaPlante up, up there. He is in the 21st position. Joseph Romero, Cooper Siron, Marty Johnson, the Daytona 500 champ there. Ryan George, winner of the All-Star race at Charlotte. And boy, that feels scattered all over the place here. D er, Dylan Young trying to get on the inside of his buddy Matt Dalio in a six. And pushes Dalio up the track into the Sandy runoff area and gets by both him and Levi Shones. Both. Lead still being held by Joshua Collard in the 43, with Kyle Matthews giving close chase in second position. Check the rest of the way through the field here. There's Lise Hernandez running. Hernandez there, JT Bryant going inside of uh, James Richardson in the 35. Not a good run for Richardson. He came in this race to the points later by about four points over Zach Flickinger 
And he's actually ahead of Flickinger, as a matter of fact. Well, how far back is the 33, you ask? Well, there he is. Flickinger is back in 35th position. So, from the point standing point, not uh, good not good news for Flickinger that he knows that Richardson's ahead. As Stephanie Gardner goes by, Jesse Turner in the 17. Quentin Moore is next up for Gardner in the 21 car. And she's all over to back up her Quentin right now. Quentin was the winner at Richmond this season. Stephanie yet to get a win this season in the 26, in the 26 Cheerios car. And Johnny Gardner running back in 39th position there. Johnny had a very poor qualifying and he destroyed his primary car in practice. But it's still Joshua Collard out in front of the race here. Two cars out of the race are Dallas McIntosh with a blown header problem. And the 19 car of John Arndt had problems through the... <clears throat> had problems and had to, sit, had to sit on pit road for a while. And lost three laps. But Joshua Collard, what more can you say about him on the road courses, though? He has been very, very strong. He won this race last season, I believe, in, the, in season 14. And he right now currently sit, you know, he now sits in a very comfortable position leading the races. As I said, got a very sub substantial lead on Kyle Matthews at the moment. Charles Sanford remaining third at the moment in the 24 car. And for Matthews, it's, and for, and for and guys like Kyle Matthews, knowing that the points battle points leaders are actually well behind, as we showed you with James Richardson and Zach Flickinger, this could be an opportunity for guys like Matthews and Sanford and Shelton because they are third. Is, let's see what uh, look at the points chase. So Shelton came in fourth, Sanford was fifth, and that man Kyle Matthews came in seventh in the points chase, and Nicholas Romero. We also saw he was six in the points. He came in. He's also behind this pack of cars too. But Matthews knows he sees Joshua Collard though getting smaller and smaller from his vision though, and that's uh, not a good sign. Even though he gained a little on Collard that time by, but a second and two tenths is a little bit difficult to make up with two laps to go in the race already. As Joshua Collard has just pulled ahead and said bye bye to the rest of the field. Recall this will be his second win of the season, by the way, if he holds on to win this race here. He won at California. Charles Samper, as I said, remains third. Forge remains Dylan Poteet. And Jessica Shelton has gotten by Dalton Day to move in the fifth position. Dalton running in sixth position. Seventh position is Seth Cole. Eighth is Kev Shearer. Ninth position belonging to Trent Dunham. And tenth is Levi McIntyre. Coming down for the white flag. This time by for car number 43. The STP Pontiac. Joshua Card for Richard Petty Motorsports. He sees the white flag waving as one lap remaining on the tracks is 400k. Here at, here at Riverside. Now I bet you the rest. I bet you some of these guys will want to bring this, these cars to the next road course stop at Sonoma. Where we'll be doing the and we'll, we'll, we will be doing the long course for that event. The old 2.5 two mile layout that the Indy car guys run actually still. Card keeping it careful through that through that turn right here. That's a, that's one of the he's got. He's got really the worst. He's got really the worst of the course out of the way. Here they come off of turn number eight as they come down the long straightaway. Matthews trying to close in, but he is too far back at the moment. Though Collard has been smooth all race long. One of those patented 190 mile hour charges up in the turn number nine as they go down the, as they go down through the ninth turn, as the number 43 STP Pontiac Richard Petty Motorsports another road course win in his pocket. Joshua Collard wins the tra tracks his 400k at Riverside. 
Second place goes to Kyle Matthews. Third, Charles Sanford. Fourth, Dylan Poteet. A great run for him. Jessica Shelton ends up fifth. Sixth position, Dalton Day. Seventh, Seth Cole. Eighth position, Kev Shearer. Ninth to Trent Dunham. And tenth place to Levi McIntyre. So... So a big win for the 43 STP Pontiac team. It's second win of the season. Average speed 129.443 miles an hour for Joshua Collard as he takes the win here today at Riverside. 11th place was Zach Rogers. 12th, Joshua Osborne. 13th, Dylan Young. Yeah, we made a great charge to the front, I might add, too, in the number two machine. Uh, Ryan Madden was 14th, 15th was William Bedford, 16th Corey Williams, Jeremy Jones 17th, Chris Dodd 18th, 19th Michael Turner, and 20th was Matt Dalio. Then Austin LaPlante, Joseph Romero, Cooper Siron, Marty Johnson, Ryan George, William Brock, JT Bryant, and Luis Hernandez, the top 28. Moving on down through the field. In the field, 29th, James Richardson. The points leader coming in, Johnny Gardner, only moved his way up to 30th in the in the race. So I'm sure Gardner will want to ditch that setup as they hit up, hit in the Watkins Glen. Gardner, that's going to be a big hit, big hit for Gardner. He came in this race 10th in the points, too. So that's going to be a big hit for Johnny Gardner. Um, 11, 31st was Zachary Fitzwater, 32nd Stephanie Gardner, Quentin Moore, 33rd Jesse Turner, 34th Zach Flickinger, second in points, 35th. Then Zach Austin, Noah Cars, Nicholas Romero, Levi Shones, the last of the cars out uh, running in the race. Then the two cars basically out. John Arndt really never got the car going, though. He's eight laps down in last place. And Dallas McIntosh had a blown header. And for all intents and purposes, it's actually a, a engine problem for all intents and purposes. But, um, but our congratulations again to Joshua Collard, the winner of the Traxxas 400K Riverside Raceway. The next stop on the tour will be at will be at Pocono for the running of the excuse me of the Five Hour Energy Four Hundred. This for so until then, this is James Qualls and this is a production of the NSCRA, celebrating five years of offline racing at its best.